So, should you still buy a home with the latest news about inflation? Well, the Federal Reserve is working hard to bring down inflation, and the latest data is showing that inflation rate is still high. It's still remaining about 8%. So, of course, this has added fuel to the fire for conversations about a recession. So you're likely feeling the impact in your day-to-day -day life as you watch the cost of goods and services keep increasing. You go to the stores, I mean, uh, grocery stores, the targets of the world, it just keeps going up and up and up. Um, gas prices, housing, cars, everything. So the high prices and the economic uncertainty may leave you wondering, should I still buy a home right now? If that question is top of mind for you, here's what you need to know. So home ownership is historically a great hedge against inflation. In an inflationary economy, so prices rise will continue to rise across the board. Historically, home ownership is a great hedge against those rising costs because you can lock in what is most likely your largest payment, monthly payment, which is your mortgage. And this is for the duration of the loan. So that helps stabilize some of your monthly expenses. And so James Royal, he's the senior management reporter at Bankrate. Um, he explains this, a fixed rate mortgage allows you main to maintain the biggest portion of housing expenses at the same payment, the same payment. So you can kind of, you know, figure out where you're at for years to come. Um, sure, property taxes will rise and other expenses insurance may creep up, but your monthly housing payment remains the same. And so and with rents being as high as they are, the ability to stabilize your monthly payments and protect yourself from future rent hikes may be even more important. So Lawrence Yoon, he's with our NAR, National Association of Realtors. I talk about him a lot in other, but he's the economist um, at NAR. And so he's explaining what happens to rents in the latest inflation report. So he says, inflation refuges, refuses to budge in September. Consumer prices rose by 8.2%. So we're all saying that everything's increasing, increasing. Rents rose by 7.2%. Um, so consumer um, prices 8.2, rents by 7.2. And this is the highest pace he says in 40 years. So when you rent, your monthly payment is determined by your lease, which typically renews on an annual basis. Um, and so with inflation high, your landlord may be more likely to increase your payments to offset the impact of inflation, which kind of makes sense. So this may be part of the reason why a survey from Realtor.com shows that 72% of landlords said they plan to raise, increase the rent on one or more of their properties in the next year. So becoming a homeowner, if you're ready and able to do so, can provide lasting stability and a reliable shelter in times of economic uncertainty. So bottom line is the best hedge against inflation is fixed housing costs. You know, it's so like we said, your fixed housing is in a mortgage, which you do not have that in a rent. So if you wanna talk more about home ownership and purchase and buying and selling and all the facts about real estate, give me a holler, Karen Wright, Berkshire Hathaway. Have a good one.